Hey everyone, welcome back to Magic Time. I'm your host, Thomas. I'm coming to you live from a vineyard here in Napa Valley. A really pretty time of the year when the clusters are just starting to turn purple going through Verasion. I wanted to come to you and talk to you about a passionate subject of mine, which is how does one keep themselves physically fit whilst drinking lots of wine and consuming lots of wine, going out to nice dinners and eating very rich foods and really enjoying your lifestyle? How do you stay physically fit and looking, looking physically fit? People ask me this all the time and I really tell them it's not, a, it's not rocket science. It's simply um, coming up with a program or a regiment of which you work out or you are physically active very consistently. For me, it's about five times a week. I go to the gym for about one hour, maybe one hour and 15 minutes. I work through my workout very quickly. I don't rest a lot or I'm not on my phone in between sets. I really focus for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes because I have other things in life that I, I, get, I like to get to. Um, such as making videos like this. So I'm in and out of the gym in about an hour, hour, 15 minutes. I do mostly resistance training, not a whole lot of cardiovascular training, and then I rest about two days a week. That's my regimen. So what I wanna stress to you guys is choose a workout regimen or a workout schedule that's fast and consistent. Uh, don't go four, five, six days in between working out, but keep it very consistent. It has to be part of your lifestyle. Number two would be not so much to watch exactly what you're eating, but to watch when you are eating and when you are consuming things. So for me, um, eating really, really late at night or consuming a lot of carbohydrates late at night, I don't like to do that. I like to eat relatively hearty, meaning um, lots of proteins and some, some simple carbohydrates, uh, but not too late at night. Maybe the latest I would eat would be seven or eight o'clock. And then what I would do is sleep the whole night through and my body during the time when I'm resting at night and sleeping is going to burn off a lot of the excess carbohydrate or what we call our glycemic index. And it's gonna deplete all the, that glycogen in your body. And then what it does in order to maintain energy and functionality is it'll start to burn away at fat. And so when I wake up in the morning, I don't go straight to a heavy duty breakfast. I know a lot of people think breakfast is the most important meal a day, but for me, I make that my period of intermittent fasting. So I have a little coffee in the morning and then I really don't eat my first meal until about noon. This gives me about oh, 12, 13, 14 sometimes hours between my dinner and then my, my next meal, which would be lunch and that you know, the next day. And that fast works to burn a lot of fat and a lot of calories and keeps me really lean. Uh, that way I have muscle definition. And um, to be honest with you, I'm never, I've never been a really big breakfast person anyways, but that, uh, that would be my number two, would be to kind of intermittent, intermittent fast and to also watch when you're consuming. Um, smaller meals is actually better, smaller, smaller meals multiple times throughout the day. Not everyone can do that because of their job, but I would definitely recommend when you eat. Um, number three would be to stay hydrated. It's very important that you stay hydrated because when you stay hydrated while you're drinking, you won't start to have really big cravings for salty items like chips and crackers and things like that. And um, so is what my rule of thumb is, is really every glass of wine I drink, I like to consume at least one glass of water, keeping myself very hydrated. And then once I keep myself hydrated, my body won't want extra salt to, to actually maintain what's the water that's in my body. And I won't have those cravings. Number four thing would be to um, definitely take your blood exam and get your blood panel done. Look if your vital organs are functioning property, properly. Look at your liver function, your kidney function, your thyroid function. Look at where your hormonal levels are in your endocrine system. Make sure that if you're a man over 40 years old that you're getting these tests done and looking at your hormonal levels, and your testosterone levels. And if they're not optimal, I would definitely suggest consulting a physician and perhaps getting a prescription to keep your, your hormonal levels at, an, at a normal level. This happens to every man. Also women, this happens to women. So definitely get your blood panel taken women and then look and see, might, you might have a thyroid issue, which, which is common with women that are starting to age. And you might, you might need some type of regimen and work with a doctor to have a prescription that would help you stay more optimally healthy. So look at your blood panel, make sure everything's functioning right. And those are, those are my tips really to staying fit whilst drinking um, plenty of wine and which, which, whilst consuming a lot of really rich and beautiful foods, which we love to do. Um, it's really not rock and science. I consume wine very frequently, almost every single day. I can tell you that wine is pretty healthy beverage. I don't drink a lot of spirits. I don't drink a lot of beer. 
but I drink a fair amount of wine. It's about 85% water wine. And then after that, there's lots of different antioxidants and things that are in wine that are healthy for you. So those are my uh, suggestions to you. I love you. Please subscribe to the channel, click the like button, and follow the rest of my videos. Cheers.